handmade lace was once a luxury save for kings. Today, the most celebrated couture houses travel to the village of Bayou, France to seek out lace maker Mylène Salvador. La vie moderne avec... Modern life, with all of its conveniences, has made handmade lace disappear from the region. By chance, I visited here in Normandy and discovered in the museum window this old lace-making handiwork. I became completely fascinated by it, and I had to find it again and learn to do it myself. I studied the intricate weaving work from enlarged photographs of museum works like this one. Little by little, I mastered the technique. The marriage of handmade lace and the incomparable couture skills of the designers make for an exquisite final product. It takes six to seven years of practice to learn to do everything from the first design to the most complicated interlacing. If the designer wants something very precise and fabulous, this cannot be mass produced. Lace making is piecework on demand. We are the kind of specialty workroom that can make special one of a kind items. Une petite pièce. Nous, on peut répondre justement à ce genre de demande. I am working with Hermes, John Galliano at Christian Dior, Olivier Lapidus, and Oscar de la Renta. That piece on the wall is Oscar de la Renta for the Belle Main Haute Couture line. That piece took a couple of months to weave. John Galliano is thinking all the time about new designs, and I translate his ideas into reality. Oscar at Belle Main draws me sketches and sends them to me, and we go back and forth. It's like composing a musical composition that goes on forever. There is no end to what I do, and life is short.